We are off to Ghana. Located on the western coast of Africa, Ghana is bordered by Cote d'Ivoire to the west, Burkina Faso to the north, Togo to the east, and the Gulf of Guinea to the south. The country has a population of approximately 32 million people and its capital city is Accra. It has a rich and diverse cultural heritage and the country is known for its vibrant music and dances. The economy of Ghana is one of the fastest growing in Africa, with a strong emphasis on agriculture, manufacturing and services. The country is rich in natural resources, including gold, diamonds, timber and bauxite, and has made significant progress in recent years in areas such as education, healthcare and infrastructure. Ghana has a gold mine of places to see and things to do. Join us as we explore our must-dos while visiting Ghana. Number 10, Labadi Beach. This beach is a popular tourist destination in Accra. It is a long sandy beach known for its clear waters, stunning sunsets, and lively atmosphere. The beach is popular for swimming, sunbathing, and water sports, and is a great place to spend a day relaxing and enjoying the sunshine. There are also a number of bars, restaurants, and souvenir stalls along the shore, offering a range of food and drink options, as well as opportunities to buy locally made crafts. Labari Beach is also a popular venue for cultural events and festivals, such as the annual Labari Beach Festival, which celebrates the rich cultural heritage of Ghana and brings together artists, musicians, and performers. Number 9. The Shy Hills Resource Reserve This wildlife reserve is located in the Greater Accra region. It covers an area of about 51 square kilometers and is home to a wide variety of wildlife, including antelopes, baboons, green monkeys, zebras, reptiles, and over 172 species of birds. The reserve is popular among tourists for its opportunities for wildlife viewing and game drives. The reserve also offers basic pitch camping and glamping sites for visitors who want to spend the night in the park and experience the sounds and sights of the African wilderness. You can also find some remains of shy people's wood at the reserve. Shy people occupied this protected space before they were removed by the British in 1892. Number 8. The National Museum of Ghana Located in Accra, the National Museum of Ghana is one of the country's most important cultural institutions. It was established in 1957 and is dedicated to preserving, promoting and showcasing the rich cultural heritage and history of Ghana. The museum features a wide range of exhibits and collections, including traditional artifacts, textiles, ceramics, jewelry, and other items that reflect the diverse cultural heritage of the country. Some of the highlights of the museum include the ethnographic galleries, which showcases the traditional lifestyles and various ethnic groups in Ghana. In this gallery, you can find the chief's regalia, indigenous Ghanaian musical instruments, and traditional textiles and pottery. At the museum, you can also explore the history galleries, which presents the country's rich historical legacy, including the slave trade, the colonial period, and the independence movement. The museum also has a contemporary art collection, which showcases the works of modern and contemporary artists from Ghana and the wider region. The National Museum of Ghana provides a fascinating window into the rich cultural heritage of the region. Number 7. Kwame Nkura Memorial Park The Kwame Nkura Memorial Park is a historic site and park situated on the site of the former British colonial polo grounds in Accra. It is dedicated to the memory of the country's first president, Kwame Nkura. The park includes a mausoleum that houses both Kwame's and his wife's names. The premises also consist of a museum that showcases the life and legacy of this important figure in Ghanaian history. The museum provides a comprehensive overview of Kwame's life, his achievements, including his political and cultural legacy, and is a great place to learn about the history and culture of Ghana. The park also serves as a peaceful haven and provides a green oasis for visitors to relax and enjoy the city. Number 6. Aburi Botanical Gardens this botanical garden, located in the town of Aburi in the eastern region of Ghana, is a beautifully landscaped garden and park covering an area of about 160 acres. The gardens were established in 1890 by the British colonial government and are considered one of the finest botanical gardens in West Africa. The gardens features a wide variety of plant species, 
including indigenous and exotic plants, as well as a collection of trees and shrubs from around the world. Visitors to the Aguri Botanical Gardens can leisurely stroll through the lush green gardens, admire the colorful flowers and rich vegetation, and learn about the diverse range of plants and their medicinal uses. There are also several attractions within the gardens, including a bush house, a rocker garden, a retired helicopter, the School of Horticulture, Lover's Lane, and several scenic viewpoints. The Aburi Botanical Gardens is a peaceful and tranquil oasis and is a popular destination for picnics and romantic walks. Fun fact! Did you know that Ghana was the first African colony to gain independence from European rule? Oh yes! On March 6, 1957, Ghana became the first sub-Saharan African country to gain independence, setting an example for other African nations to follow. Enjoying our content? Then don't hesitate. Subscribe, like, share, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out when we take flight. Number 5. The WLI Waterfalls These waterfalls are a scenic and popular tourist destination located in the Volta region of Ghana. The falls are the tallest in West Africa and are known for their stunning beauty and serene surroundings. The falls is surrounded by lush, verdant forests and rolling hills, providing a peaceful setting. They are a popular spot for hiking and trekking, with trails leading up to the top of the falls and along the river. Visitors can swim in the refreshing pools at the base of the falls or relax on the rocks and enjoy the scenery. There are also a number of local villages and markets nearby, offering visitors the opportunity to learn about the local culture and meet the friendly people of the region. Number 4. Mole National Park This wildlife reserve is located in the northern region of Ghana. It covers an area of approximately 4,500 square kilometers and is home to a wide variety of wildlife, including elephants, buffaloes, waterbucks, antelopes, the white colobus monkey, leopards, and lions. It is also home to 742 vascular plant species, 334 bird species, 33 reptile species, 9 amphibian species, and over 120 butterfly species. Visitors to the Mole National Park can take guided game drives to see the wildlife, go on hiking and walking tours, or simply relax and take in the stunning scenery. Visitors to the park can also visit some neighboring communities and experience their traditional livelihood and rich cultural heritage. Some nearby tourist attractions include Navrongo Cathedral, Wana's Palace, the Goro Slave Camp, and several ancient mosques. Number 3. Kente Weaving Village The Kente Weaving Village is a traditional weaving community located in the Ashanti region of Ghana. Kente cloth is a brightly colored hand-woven fabric that is considered a national symbol of the country. The fabric is made by weaving stripes of cloth together to create intricate patterns and designs. The Kente Weaving Village is a center of traditional Kente production. Visitors to the village can watch skilled weavers create the cloth using traditional techniques passed down from generation to generation. They can also purchase hand-woven Kente cloths and other traditional textiles and learn about the cultural significance of the patterns and colors used in the cloth. Number 2. Cape Coast Castle a former slave trading fort, Cape Coast Castle is one of about 40 slave castles built on the Gold Coast of West Africa by European traders. It was originally built by Sweden in the 1650s and was later expanded and used by the Dutch, the British and other European powers as a key centre for the transatlantic slave trade. Trade at the castle revolved around gold, wood and textiles until the English merchants began seeking captive Africans. The castle served as a holding place for slaves before they were transported across the Atlantic to the Americas. Today, the castle is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is a powerful symbol of the brutal history of the slave trade. Visitors to the castle can tour the dungeons where slaves were kept, see the grand halls where slave traders lived and worked, and learn about the history of slavery and the slave trade in West Africa. Number 1. Kakum National Park this is a protected area of tropical rainforest located in south-central Ghana. The park covers an area of about 375 square kilometers and is known for its diverse wildlife, including Red River Hog, 
dwarf crocodiles, forest elephants, and the North Africa crested porcupine. The main attraction of the Cocoa National Park is the Canopy Walkway, which is a suspension bridge hanging over the forest canopy. The walkway offers breathtaking views of the forest and the wildlife below. It is one of three places in Africa that features a canopy walkway through the trees and is considered one of the most unique and exciting eco-tourist attractions in Ghana. The park also features hiking trails and viewing platforms where visitors can experience the beauty of the rainforest up close. Keep in mind that a permit is required to take photographs while at the park. Kukum National Park is an important site for conservation and it provides critical habitat for many species and helps to protect Ghana's valuable and fragile rainforest ecosystem. And there you have it, our top 10 must-see in Ghana. Have you visited any of these places? Leave a comment and let us know. And don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and hit the notification bell. Until next time, safe travels.